He's trying to hide under things. He's hot. They're overheated. They're like overheated because of the heat wave. Where's the mommy? We gotta get it back. This guy's overheated. We need to put them in a safer spot. Where's your mommy? Did you fall out of the big tree? Did you fall out of the big tree? You're tired, you look overheated. entire experience because really I'm just distraught and I'm just working on finding Picasso and that's my priority. Part of me feels like I should film it so that you guys could see how I'm doing it but then I feel like I need to give all my time to Picasso. It's like a heat wave today. Anyway, my best friend Ginny came out to help me. I've had a lot of different friends come out. Kevin's here. Do you guys remember Kevin? He has the bird Marley, the blue-throated macaw. Keeps appearing on my channel. Okay, you know what we could do? Make a box that kind of looks like a nest. Yeah. And then put it somewhere safe, and then the mom will come back to it. All this commotion, though, is about these baby birds who we believe. We believe what? These baby birds who we believe are too young to be fledglings. <laughs> Someone's gonna say something. <laughs> Kevin, you hold them. Anyway. We have these baby birds, but we gotta get them up to their mom or safe. Ugh. We believe, because we're all bird people, that if the miracle could happen that we stumbled upon birds that need help, right here, right here we stopped too, just to take a breather, and they were under us, then for sure a miracle could happen for Picasso. Uh, maybe we'll get the van and see if we could ladder up and get them back in their nest. I don't know. Kevin sounds like Jafar. Do it, Kevin. Don't hate on my voice. It doesn't sound that deep. It's deep on camera. Mm. They're probably not going to be able to hear me. <laughs> it's deep on camera because we won't hear Kevin. What are you doing? Garbage dumping? No, I'm getting, you know, a box for the birds. That's so a perfect box. <laughs> There might be babies up there that we could actually access because Mahdi's tall. Israeli intelligence is in the car guarding me. We could definitely put him in another nest. Maybe I should talk to Parrot Station. Do I look like I've been crying for days? Should I knock on this person's door and let them know why we're hovering around their house? or? Or is Kevin just going to take them home? Kevin has a hot date. I'm going to nurse them. <laughs> He's going to arrive. I'm going to ditch that. my date. <laughs> You're going to arrive with that box to your date's house. I think Mom we, is there. 100%. I think they could see there's babies everywhere. Oh, yeah, that's good. We could definitely reach that tree and put them back. So mm -hmm. Mom would be like, did I have Maybe six Maybe some paper towels. Can we knock on the door? I don't think necessarily up. Target Look. bag is the best idea, but this is gonna be like a different top. I would have, you know, folded it up and put it in there. Oh. 
And what would you have worn instead? I don't know, my bra. I had that shirt since I was 16. Yeah, it's a good shirt. I'm not and why does it look so new still? I don't get it. It's like pitch black. Let's put this here. Or we could shove it. I think we should see up how the, high the tree is. Jenna, do you mean like we could put that in the tree as a nest? And then the guy comes out and he's like... tell the owners why they have like an always box in their tree? Yeah. yeah they're going to be like, isn't that the always box that grew out? <laughs> they be like, oh. <laughs> Isn't that the old spot <laughs> Now everyone knows I use ultra thin. Oh my god. Kevin, <laughs> go tell them that they don't be alarmed if they go tell them not to be alarmed if they find their always box back in their tree. Yeah. Oh, are we, are we ready to go? Madi's tall enough. Maddie, Did you knock on the door? No. Why are you circling me, man? Why are you circling me, man? Just kidding. You don't sound like that. Look at those Scorpio eyes. Whoa. I swear I hear a bird in the distance. Mm -hmm. I did too. Does it sound like Picasso? I was putting up flyers on the other side of the school. Oh. And I was like, Picasso? Like, I heard it from a distance, not nearby. Like, as if the wind blew it. And I was like, Madi, quiet. Oh, I didn't hear it again. Kevin, tell them we lost a parrot, so we're taking two of theirs. Check in the sign. Oh, he's coming with a step stool. Do you see birds in there? Oh yeah, that will help. They came from up there. Okay, that makes sense. Let's open it all the way. There's always something going on. What's in there? Did you say there is a nest or you don't see Madi it? talks the opposite of Kevin like I tell you, the reason why so I tell you for sure it's a nest because I see it every year. Yeah. The same story. Yeah, when I take walks, all the signs have birds in them, you know? Feathers, pants, nest. Perfect. No. Uh, they have a tendency to want to fly. Yeah. It's and it's really hot. You're okay to touch them. Are you scared to touch them? No, you touch Jersey. I don't want to crush them. Okay, Mr. Israeli intelligence. Gonna be so strong, he crushes them. Do you need something to like put them in a little farther? Like something longer than your finger? No idea what he's saying. No, I, even when he's talking to me in the house, I have no idea. There's a barrier over there of the nest. Oh. And I tried to push it gently to go up the hill. <laughs> what is done? Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah. But the always box. Right? You know what I think will be safer for them? Take yeah. him home. Oh, man. Take him home. Crazy. Because, you know, it'll be even, even sadder if you come tomorrow and you see them both dead on the floor. Oh, my God. The resolution is that we got them back in the nest. Kevin put some stuff up in the nest to block them from falling out. Yeah, so the mom could get back in. Okay, we can come check tomorrow too. Kevin will be here bright and early. Uh -huh. we'll see. <laughs>